Guys, today I'm taking a look at this USB multi-port adapter, more commonly known as a USB dongle. As laptops are coming with less and less traditional ports and MacBooks are coming with like USB-C or Thunderbolt ports, having one of these USB dongles is becoming more and more of a necessity. I was sent this USB-C multi-port adapter dongle by the good people at Business As Destinations. So thanks guys for sending me this. So what's so good about this dongle and how does it compare to some of the others? Let's get into it. What's up YouTube, Dave here with Seen Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make videos on all things tech, lifestyle and a lot more than that. If you like that sort of thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel and click on the bell icon so you can be notified when I make new videos. So, USB multiport adapters, dongles, maybe we'll just call them dongles for now. There are a ton of them springing up. And like I said, with the lack of traditional ports on many laptops and certainly on Mac products, they have become a bit of a necessity. So I already have this one by a company called ICSI. This thing is light. It has four USB 3 ports on it. It's got a VGA adapter. I mean, is that even a thing anymore? I guess maybe. It's got HDMI, 4K, it's got an ethernet port, yes, an ethernet port for when we used to kind of have to wire our networks together. And more importantly, especially if you're a photographer or a video maker or, you know, someone that needs external storage, this thing has an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. So that is like gold. I also have this one from a company called MinIX. Now, what I like about this is it's got, okay, it's not quite as port connected, if that's even a thing, but it's got two USB 3 ports. It's got 4K HDMI, and that's it. But that's not all, actually. The most important and the key differentiator for this one is it's got 240 gigabytes of lovely SSD storage. And if you're on the go, having some extra storage, a lot of computers now haven't got a lot of storage built in. You've got to really pay a lot of money to up-spec them. If, you, if you're running around with an iPad or some other sort of tablet, having the extra storage is really, really handy. And it's SSD and it's really fast. So I like it. But what it doesn't have, no card slots. And I don't like that. So I am very, very intrigued to see what this Strenta USB dongle is going to bring to the party. So let's get it unboxed. So here you have it guys, pretty simple design. Pretty standard, just like all of the others. We've got three USB-C ports on the front here. We've got our card slots, our much needed card slots for anyone that's on the go. And we've got our 4K HDMI video socket on the other side. Nice thing here is we've also got ethernet. Yes, people are still wiring up their networks. This one kind of looks like it's shielded, so that's quite cool. And it's also got transmit and receive lights on it. And again, that's pretty cool because a lot of the time you plug in ethernet, you don't know if it's working, you don't even know if the connection's being made, you don't know if it's transmitting, receiving data, whatever. So we've got some lights that are gonna tell us that. And I like that, because I'm old school. Missing, however, on both of these devices, this is the ICSI one, you've got a USB power socket. Now that's going to enable you to plug in another USB device and charge up. Missing though, guys, is a USB-C socket of any description on here. This ICSI one has got one here and that is for 
powering other USB-C devices. So if you've got another USB-C device, plug it in with its cable, bang, you're charging up. So that's pretty cool. The Min iX one has got a USB-C socket on it also, but this one is to power the bus on here. So if this needs extra power because maybe the computer you've plugged it into can't provide enough power, then you can plug your USB power adapter into this. So it's more of an input to power the bus. The uh, Strenta one though doesn't have one. So whether it needs it, whether it doesn't need it, okay, fair enough. Um, it'd be nice to be able to, you know, plug another device in to charge, but it's not there. So I'm sure it's not a great big deal, but it would have been a nice touch. Other than that, guys, there's not really much to say about this device. Um, I'm going to try it out and see how it performs. The USB 3 ports are all 5 gigabits, so it should transfer data pretty quickly. The 4K output for the HDMI, I'm sure that will power my monitor and I'll try that out shortly and let you know how that goes. But aside from price, there's not a lot to set these three products apart. Price-wise, coming in at the most expensive is the Min iX. And that's because it's got all of that SSD storage on it. And that comes in at about 70 pounds. Next is this ICSI model, lots of connectivity on here. Some you might need, some you probably won't, but you know, having a VGA adapter could be quite interesting if you've got to connect to legacy devices, but that came in at about 40 pounds. And this one really from Strenta has all of the ports I reckon that I'm gonna need on the go, and it's 28 pounds, so that, is pretty good. It's light, it's got everything I think I'm gonna need. 28 pounds, I don't think you can go wrong with that. So guys, if you're interested in this device, I will leave a link in the description for where you can get one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. If you like this video or this type of content, then please maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, guys, thanks very much to you guys for watching because that's why I'm making these videos. Thanks to Business Zestination for sending me this. And guys, until the next one, I'm Dave from Scene Through a Lens and I will see you soon. Bye for now.